Hello and welcome to Jumble Line Model Railway. For those who don't know me, I'm Jeff and a member of Wally Model Railway Club. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll give you an introduction to the layout and then we'll, uh, we'll go into a, a running session. To start with, I have a, a pull out section there which is a bridge and uh, it's got four rails on it for the two uh, groups of loops and it does come out and at the moment I'm considering uh, modifying it uh, to make it a hinge one rather than just to pull up and take away. Uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to keep aligning every time I want to come and use it. Once we go over the bridge we have what I call the turn table area which is just behind the station and the four lines run along the front of the station and to the left where the, the mug is, is is going to be a platform for another part of the station um, but that's uh, going to be constructed later. This area here I've, I've named Godfrey Junction. Uh, it's a, a fairly complicated junction really. Um, my dad is called Godfrey and he built that uh, Metcalf kit for me. So I thought I'd just name the station after him. As I say, we've got uh, a refuelling spot and five roads of track leading onto the turntable. Fully DCC operated. You can use it from its own control centre or through the DCC commands. And at the back I've got two roads which hold DMUs and it's got its own head shunt on the other end. This comes onto the, the road which leads onto the uh, turntable and then comes out onto the main line. There's a bit of an incline here and it goes up along the, uh, the north end of the layout. Uh, on the high level. In front of that is what I've been doing this week is building my heritage area on the heritage line. Um, the corner is a bit of a homage to my dad again, he's uh, an ex-miner. Uh, we moved from the north of England to the uh, Midlands when I was only two and a half, so therefore I haven't got my northern accent. I, I scratch built this uh, footbridge which I made out of card um, and painted up and, and weathered and uh, I have got some videos on my uh, YouTube channel which go through how I've made some of these items. This uh, station, as you can see, I'm going to name that Rose Holt. My mum's name is June Rose, so I thought I'd better put part of my mum here as well. So I've called that uh, Rose Holt. As behind the Clon Castle there is an old wooden platform, which I've uh, made out of uh, balsa wood, uh, which is sort of just keeping the old part there and I'm going to build a new modern part there and I've got to do something with that little bit brown patch at the end of that uh, piece of uh, scenery there. There's, there's two roads to the uh, to the station, the Holt. Um, it's a run around for the steam engines if it's need, needed to be, although this is on a loop it actually comes off the main line here where the 68 is set and as it comes underneath that bridge there it comes back out onto the same loop a bit further round. You've got this uh, part of a shopping area there with the road coming down and this road is, is a, is a one-way road although it has to have 
uh, the traffic coming in and going out so we've got some traffic lights there which actually do operate and they uh, operate correctly in sequence like all traffic lights they spend too much time on red Coming towards the front edge of the layout there, as I say we've got those inner two lines that come round and then there's a crossover there in front of that where the uh, coal carriage uh, wagons are is, is actually my programming line but uh, with the Z21 software it runs uh, normal uh, during normal running time and then when you do do the programming it just energises that piece of track. On the west side of my layout it comes into this area here which is basically um, the only true to life part of my layout. Uh, it's, it's way out of scale because I just have not got the room for it. But um, this is based on Barnsley in South Yorkshire. This is where I was born. Um, at the top where you've got this uh, shed looking area is what was the courthouse station. And I've uh, made that from card using my uh, cricket cutting machine. And, uh, it, Again, there's uh, videos on my uh, YouTube channel showing you how I made that. That is um, an, an upper, upper level and to the one area of it, in between the two stations, is the bus station. Um, in reality, uh, it's a lot wider than this compared to the, the area that I've given it. It's probably about three or four times as wide in comparison to what it is there with the, uh, the railways. Um, my dad used to be a bus driver at one point and my mum used to be a clipper. So again, a bit of a homage to my parents. This area here is Barnsley Exchange Station and it's sort of what it looked like um, to a degree back in 1958 and that's the year I was born. You've got um, a two lane shed there where um, repairs and bits and pieces were done to locos and you had this area where there were in, in this part where there's no track used to be lots and lots of track um, where you see that line going off to my heritage line both lines used to go off there but used to go up onto the upper level to meet the courthouse station and the only one time that the flying scotsman didn't come to this station it's actually stalled on that incline which is quite a, a steep incline something I couldn't model uh, in the area that I've got and the space provided this signal box is known as Jumble Lane signal box and that's where I get the name of my layout the actual road there uh, is actually called Kendry Street but it was always known as Jumble Lane and there is uh, not on the actual model there but in, in the one that in real life did have a sign saying Jumble Lane and you'll see that on the photos that I've uh, put on the screen I will bring the camera down there because there are photos that I've taken uh, from I've, I've sort of built this uh, layout 
around the photos that I've, I've managed to get off the internet and out of books. So far um, I haven't finished building any of this area. That was a built-in wardrobe and has two tunnel mouths. One there and one there. It's a good job that I'm not married anymore because uh, I think I'll be going for a third divorce if, if I did have a wife. So uh, let's just say I'm glad I'm single. In this area, uh, the, the track, I'm going to relay this track because it, it's, the, the curves are not adequate and as it comes down um, the slope it does actually dip fiercely in the, in the middle so I'm going to even out that slope and ease out the curves so I'm going to relay all what's in here at some point. Also, saying that's a tunnel mouth there, I'm going to have two more tunnel mouths, one roughly where that one is and one to the side, and then they come out of the tunnel here. So all of the track in there will not be seen, and I shall make a, a nice full-size diorama to fit over the top of it, and I'm going to find a way of putting it on some form of pulleys, so I can winch it up and uh, take it up into the area above so I can gain access for maintenance, cleaning and attempt to do wellness if I get them. So that is, is basically the layout. Um, all my equipment is, is up here. No, I didn't eat all those Chinese takeaways. Friends and family uh, donated those. And then at the bottom shelf is a stock of my uh, locos and, and what have you. So let's go into uh, a running session.
caught you in top boffins from RTC or board. Okay, Pete, what's your proof? Well,
Thank you.